Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, I believe this is the 11th installment on our PHP forum tutorial. In our last tutorial, we um, went ahead and started creating, um, viewing the topic, which we did in fact finish. And uh, like I said, we're going to start on the ad reply. And uh, there's just one quick thing I need to make. When you see this, there's no create link here. So we just got to go ahead and create that. That would be, I believe, in our form. Alright. Now, as you can see where it says no topics in this form, that means there's a, there's a create link there, but there's no create link in the uh, next one. So, let's go ahead and apply that. And let's align it to the right. And let's create the link. Act equals create. And ID equals row ID. Create a topic. Alright. Let's go check that out. Oh, there's four there. So we have to do this. Call span has to be over four now. All right. Let's make sure. Yep. So, yep. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and start on creating a reply. So, let's go ahead and uh um, where's it? there it is. And let's open topic. Okay. And uh, at the bottom here, you can see that easily. Uh, we end the table that way. Awesome. And now, that's so what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a filler here. I'm just going to put a comment here. Replies. Then afterwards here, I'm just going to create a new uh, data cell. Oopsies. I gotta make the data cell span over two. And we're going to align this to the center. And then inside of this, we're uh, going to stop that just for now. And I'm gonna put a form here. Form method equals post. Action equals index.php. Act equals reply. And ID will um, equal, let's see, row. And select star. So ID. So row ID. Row ID. Okay, that'll just uh, help us when we uh, want to submit the form, so we can add the reply. Next, we're going to uh, create a text area. So we'll do text area style width equals 100%. Actually, let's do 90%. Okay, let's give it a name. We'll call this reply. And, uh, end it like that. And we'll put an input here. Input type equals submit. We're going to name it submit. And we're going to do a value of create or add reply. And just like we did with the text area, we'll make it span 90. Let's end the table cell in the row. Let's just see how that'll come out. Okay, it looks nice. Um, yeah. Let me go back here. <coughs> Click this. Okay, good. Now, let's view our source. Make sure everything is there. You can see right there. Action ID equals 3. ID is referring to the topic ID. There you have it. Uh, and next, let's uh, go ahead and work on this. So let's go ahead into our PHP My Admin and let's create a new table in our database. We're going to call it form underscore replies. And we'll have ID. This will just be uh, a static number here that will 
automatically incre increment each time uh, a new reply is added. TID referring to topic ID. UID referring to the user's ID. Their message. Text. Um, the date. Let's do... How do we do this? We just have that, okay. Uh, let me look at it. Yeah, we just have date, so... Date, and we'll just... Uh, I don't know, 64. How's that? Time. This will be an integer. This will be how we uh, figure out how to sort them. So we'll just do... I don't know, 25. Um, anything else? We... Nope. That'll be fine. Go ahead and save it. Alright, now we have our form replies. That has been created. And uh, let's go back into here. As you can see, we have the replies topic, or the replies row there. What I want to do is add that in. Okay, we have this. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh, see if there's any errors. No errors, zero replies. Easy as that. Okay, um, continuing into our topic here. Now we need to go ahead into our form index here and uh, add a new action. So where's our actions? Actions here, so we need to reply. Save it. And then here we'll do if action equals reply, sorry. Now we need to do if session UID doesn't exist, then we'll have the user be redirected to the login page. Else include our includes folder in reply.php. Now we don't have that replies.php file yet. So if I went ahead and did that, we'll get an error. So act equals reply. File not found. So let's go ahead and create that. And I'm just going to do this. Save it. Computer C web server www tuts forum includes reply. Now if we went here and refreshed, we'll just get a blank page. Good. Now we'll stick down here, go into a topic, so we have this. Now, um, here, we're gonna do if post submit. That means if it doesn't exist, then we're just gonna say echo invalid usage of file. So in this case, if we went back there right now, or, uh, it'll give us the invalid usage of file because we're not actually submitting the data that way there's real data not being submitted one more thing here topic we have post count a what is a equal I really don't know Oh, A is the admin. Post count zero. We'll go ahead and add that later once we actually have this going up. So now that we have actually the submit variable being posted, we'll go ahead and create our variables. So our topic ID is uh, right. Let's see, MSS get ID. All right, and uh, we already have our UID stored in our um, session. So basically we're do now message equals MSS post message. I believe that's what I called it. Name it. Oh, we called it reply. Okay, reply. So now I'll go ahead and check this. If TID echo 
you did not supply a topic to add a reply to. Else, this means it does exist. So now we're going to do a query on this to see if the actual topic exists. So select star from forum topics where ID equals TID. Let's go ahead and execute the query using MySQL query function. Now we're going to use uh, the, the MySQL num rows function, which, like I said in the last one, returns the amount of rows that the query is executing to submit. So if it equals zero, we'll echo this topic does not exist. Else, we're going to actually uh, use the MySQL fetch asos on this one. You'll see why. Because like in here, we have this. If row to admin equals 1, and admin user level equals 0, then it's good. So we need to go ahead and select that. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to copy and paste this, because we're going to use that. Tab this in, tab that one in, row category D. Okay, now if row to admin equals 1, and and admin user level, admin underscore user underscore level equals zero. Echo, you do not have sufficient privileges to add an add a reply to this topic. Okay. Else, now we'll continue uh, from there. If message echo you did not supply a message or a reply okay else now we'll just check on uh, character length on this so is what I'm gonna do here I wanna check my uh, functions well I think I put it in global anyways but yeah I did my MSS function trims it so good that means if a uh, string length message is less than, let's say, 10. Or, 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 <laughs> string, length, string length of message is greater than, let's say, 10,000. Echo, your reply must be between 10 and 10,000 characters. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and add the reply. Everything is all set and everything's ready to go. So, SQL 3, insert into forum replies. I'm going to end that for now and I want to see. I think let's go to our create here. Just so we get the correct time variable on this. We have uh, these two, okay. Oops, I'm to copy it, okay reply here. I'm going to just add these two variables in there. Okay, and let's go back to our PHP my admin and look at the rows. We have topic ID, UID, message date and time. So now we'll supply those in here. So TID, UID, uh, message, date and time. And now let's add the values for those. Our topic ID is uh, TID. We uh, supplied that as a variable. Our user ID is session UID. Our message is uh, MSG. Our date is date. And our time is time. Okay, now we'll execute the query. Okay, and now um, if there's no actual error when we submit the query, then we'll go ahead and do a header, location, index.php act equals topic, and id equals tid. Alright, let's go ahead and test this out. We'll post, uh, I like monkeys too. Add reply, see if there's any errors. No errors, so let's go and check this. Browse. There you have it. 
my user ID is 4, this topic ID is 3, and the date is 7 <laughs> and the time is 12.05. There we have it. I'm going to end this tutorial now, but our, in our next tutorial we're going to actually view the replies and use uh, pagination to browse through them all. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I hope you've been following the other ones too because if you haven't you're probably not going to understand what exactly this is all about. So um, please rate, uh, feel free to comment. I'll try to comment back whether the comment is negative or positive. Um, and if you really want to see my videos as soon as I upload them, subscribe to me. Alright, uh, okay, thank you one more time, and I'll see you next time.